Hello and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm on location here at Tottenham Wildlife Trust Nature Reserve and I'm here to talk about slow worms. Because slow worms are a form of legless lizards, they can't regulate their own body temperature. This means that they often need to bask in the sun, so they prefer large flat stones or pieces of metal. This means that this is the perfect place to find them, full of large flat rocks and a few pieces of corrugated iron, as the surface provides them with a place where they can bask in the light of the sun and provides them with shelter underneath it. All around, Tons of empty snail shells. Beetle carcasses, just like this. Despite their appearance, slow worms are actually the UK's only species of legless lizard. And they're classed as lizards rather than snakes for a few different reasons. The main ones are that they have eyelets, whereas snakes do not. They also have small ear openings and their tail here at the back. Two thirds of their body length is detachable. So if a predator grabs hold of them by the tail, they can drop it in an act of autotomy, and it falls to the ground and continues wriggling for a short period of time, which tricks the predator and distracts it while the front half of the slow worm, the part that matters, slithers away to safety. They're beautiful little animals, often found brown in color with a range of shades from coppery to gray. Their main defense mechanism when they're caught, apart from losing their tail, the main one, the big one, is pooing on you. It will excrete on you, in order to ward off predators. I'll give you a closer look at this one. It has a black stripe going down its back. It has a very black underside, meaning it has not recently molt because these guys do shed their skin like most lizards. And the telltale sign that they've recently done so is that their underside, their belly, will be a pale bluish color. This one, I believe, is a female and it is possibly even pregnant from the size and the girth of the body and the way that it tapers down to the tail. It's very sort of sudden, the way that it narrows in. Slow worms mate during springtime, during which the male will clamp hold of the female's head really tight in its jaws. And then the females, after a few months, will give birth in mid-August to mid-September. Slow worms are oviviviparous, meaning that when they do give birth, they give birth to live young rather than laying eggs. So the young fully develop inside the female before they emerge in mid-August to mid-September. These guys can be found across most of the UK, favoring quite a few different habitats. And you can see my surroundings are just full of bricks and rocks that animals like these would love to hide under. These fellas are adorable. They're one of only three lizard species that we have here in the UK. We have the common lizard and the sand lizard, both of which have legs. This one looks like it's on the hunt and what they eat is slugs, snails, worms, and other insects too, but mainly those three. If you look closely at the head, you'll be able to see a small black tongue that it's using to taste the air, much like snakes do and other lizards.
wiping off the poo. <laughs> <laughs> 